Okay, so here we have a selection of cards. Which one do you think is fake? Give you some time to take a look for yourselves. All right, give up. Well, the fake ones, you would never tell. But even back in 2002, when e-readers was a thing, they made fake cards. This card has been in my collection for so freaking long. So freaking long. And I just pull it out. And I'm like, yo, that's a fake card. Yeah, it's a fake card. What do we do with the fake cards? Look. No print line. It's fake. Faker than the cardboard they used. Who's fake? He tricked me. He tricked me. I thought it was a good reverse hollow card, but I pull it out of my collection and it's all flimsy. And these are the cards that I just pick up from Offer Up and Open Lot. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. See that? It's a freaking sticker. It's a freaking sticker. Like, that's what they're going. This is the length that they're going. That's another fake card. Do, 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 do. He would have got me for a fake. I mean, for a real. If it wasn't for all these polka dots on it. And then I look, and it's a faker. He wasn't in my collection, but he wasn't a lot that I picked up from OfferUp. And then, uh, here we go. Look, another sticker. This is common practice of what they're doing. This one's just less rainbowy. It's common practice is a dang sticker, but they have such good precision that they put it on nicely. You would never tell the difference, but I mean, you have to look at the artwork and realize these fake these cards are fake. Also, my cousin picks up a lot of these cards and, and he trades with a lot of kids. A lot of kids in these school have fake cards. Like, I know nobody has the balls to, but next time you guys get a pack, take out the trainer card. Obviously, you know, trainers are a dime in a dozen. Rip open a trainer card and make sure that your card has that blackish grayish outline right there when you cut it in half see your real card is supposed to have that blackish tarnish right there when you split it so this was a real card when you guys buy cards or if you guys trade like a lot of cards with your buddies in the gym you know in the gym or in the park or whatever Make sure you guys are paying attention because this is not good. This is not good at all. Check this out. So we got the heavy ball right in front. This is a real card, right? But you wouldn't know. So let's say I bought a pack and typically 99 cent stores sell these cards, you know, like, uh, what is it? A pack would be a dollar or two dollars and parents think it's a, it's a deal, a bargain, but it's not. If you're not spending top dollar, you're going to get fake cards. Look, another real card. See, they all have that grayish layer in between front and back. Now we're going to pull out a fake card. Obviously fake. Look at the look at the energies. And it's obviously printed on. See? Look at that. Fake. And I think this is a card that my cousin had. And I'm so mad that, that someone traded him this. Because my cousin probably had nice cards and gave it away for nothing. Uh, now, these cards have seen better days. But uh, let's see if 2019 had, you know. And behold, 2019 definitely did. Even if they're beat up and messed up. That's a real card right there. Sorry, Meowth. And here we go with Dana. Dana also real so don't be fooled y'all that's the only way you can tell and my only advice is next time you buy a pack and you think it's fishy just take out the trainer and rip it in half you will not lose anything ripping the trainer 